we've got a pair of Red Wing Rough Out Engineer boots. We're going to do a resole on. We're going to go back with a leather sole, a rubber half sole, and build up a woodsman heel on this. Let's tear it up. back with a leather sole and a rubber half sole instead of the stock cork sole that comes on it. So I'm going to go through on our flake stitching machine and actually stitch the middle of the uh, rubber half sole in here so we don't get any lift in the flex point.
に。Fresh cork in there. Everything's glued up. Got my soles stitched up, and we're ready to press them together. Press it up. Okay, we've got the soles on there and trimmed up pretty close to the welt here, so we're ready to stitch now. Because we're going to put a woodsman heel on there, it kind of has like a bit of a concave, so I want to make sure I get the ends of my stitching in far enough where they won't be too close to the spot where I'm sinking. Always have a little bit of help ramping up the rubber half sole here. stock on, the, on Red Wings and this customer wanted to switch to a rubber half sole and a woodsman heel so we're making a new heel base for this and we're going to try to match the height that we added with the rubber half sole and give them a little bit more on this heel base so I can get a woodsman heel in here sort of a, you know, like a concave sanded heel so I've got my heel base all set up here and I've done a little bit of sanding so far just to kind of get it close. But I want this to sit flat and I want it to, to sort of land on the balls of the feet up here in the front of the boot. So this one's pretty close already. Which is where I'm at because I want to give myself some room to sand that concave into the heel base back here. I'm going to make a couple quick adjustments. That's 
looking pretty good. I'm actually just sanding out of the inside of this heel stack that I've made here. Just to kind of get everything to sit flat. And I think that'll do. Close here on the, the inside seam so that meets when I glue everything together. There's not a gap there. Yeah, I think we're ready to glue. Alright. We've got the inside of our heel base finished here. We're ready to slap this one on. Put some uh, classic cat's paw heels on this pair as requested by the customer. And uh, these have, you know, a specific left and right side. So I made sure I didn't mess it up. And I'm going to place the heel. Now we're going to do a, a woodsman heel shape to this base. So I need to place it where it's... I'm allowing myself to sand a little concave into it on all three sides here. I'm going to kind of center it in the back and on the sides. it up and then put some nails in it from the inside and we're ready to start sanding. All right, these cat's paw heels, they have metal washers. There's little holes all around with metal washers inset into the rubber. So I'm going to nail from the inside and from the outside through this heel base. So I've got the nails in there already and I use a set to get them to go down against the washer. start to sand that woodsman heel into it now and we'll sort of give it a, a concave all the way around.
run sanders, we'll go and find sanders and kind of get rid of all the all the cars. That's about right. So we got the heels all sanded up and I put some ink down on there and got wax on the edges and on the heels. They're all finished up and put some nails in the bottom of the sole there. Brush those up a little bit, but now we're ready to swap out the Red Wing branded buckles for some solid brass unbranded buckles. And these will be ready to send off.